What's up guys, it's Ray and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com and Jeff, we are finally here, Pop Goes the Weasel, Big Easter Egg Achievement Guide, Call of Duty Black Ops, Mob the, uh, Dead. Uh, the whole Rising reason you work here, pretty much. Uh, essentially, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this can be done with uh, two to four people, doesn't need to be done with four. One person must be the Weasel, you must complete the cycle three times. I did it on original difficulty, but I'm not sure if you can do it on easy, and you must have... The Hell's Retriever. What is the Hell's Retriever? That's the the tomahawk. The cool oh, tomahawk the, 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 the you feed so the dogs. So this is uh, assuming you know how to build the uh, plane. If you don't know how to build the plane, there's already a video on that. Yeah, we're going to uh, now you're going right? to pick up some skulls. Now this is in theater mode. So I uh, promise you, when you throw the tomahawk there, you will hear a sound cue and a blue skull will come at you. Okay. There's five skulls. So that one was on uh, the docks. This one is up here by the street light. Uh, if you don't get it this way, you can uh, get it on the gondola ride down or up, depending how good you are. Okay. The third one is over here in the warden's office, right outside by Speed Cola, hanging out on a street light. This is fast forward a little bit, just because my compadre over here is watching his back for zombies. It is over there now. Like I said, it looks like I'm hitting nothing, but I promise you, yeah, there's uh, there's something there. There's a, there's a lot of sound cues too. So every time you hit something, and when you get all the skulls, you'll hear something. This one's by the library in the beginning. Just throw it in the toilet. You would uh, get a skull there. <laughs> and the final one is on the roof, right by that uh, that Easter egg, the jump scare. Uh huh. And I promise you, there's no jump scare here. You just throw your tomahawk into that corner of the roof, and uh, yeah, sure. your final skull, and then that's it. Yeah, the, the, the sound you hear is like uh, when you open up the mystery box, like the, the money noise. That makes total sense to yeah, me. Dude, it gets better. All right, so now you got to get spoons, Jeff. You're going to see this uh, random poster, Escape from the Tomb, and you need to throw a Hell's Retriever at it. It's a little uh, little fidgety. Okay. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to hang out, try again. Nope, just going <laughs> to shoot a little bit. Nothing's <laughs> happening. All right, just recompose yourself, line up the shot, and there you go. Hey. And now you need to go into afterlife mode, which is right uh, next to it. This is right by the Warren's office, by the way. Absolutely. It's uh, pretty easy to find. And uh, to Michigan, like I said, underrated state. Go down, turn on the double tap. Not important, but you had the uh, have the afterlife, so why not? Just uh, shock it up. And then you're going to go behind where that poster was with the, uh, the newly opened portal. You go down there and you shock the spoon. Once again, there is the sound cue. It's hard to see in the, the video in Afterlife because it's all bright and shit. Yeah. But there is a spoon there. Okay. And once you do that, the, you want to <laughs> you want to get the second spoon. Good God. Which is by uh, in the cafeteria. It is right over there. Once again, hard to see. And, and this is in addition to doing. This is in addition to building else. everything else. Okay. Uh, once you're done with that, you will hear Brutus, the big uh, warden, security guard looking thing, scream at you. Yeah. Once you do that, you walk into the warden's office and you are rewarded with a free blundergat. Which is very nice of them to give you something. You no can also shit. get it from the random box, but you need to pick this up to progress. Is the blunder guy good? Yes, it's very good. All right, after you do that, now you need to enter <laughs> the prisoner numbers. This is the spiral staircase where yeah, you uh, yeah. we usually put in that code to drop a piece of the plane. Or listen to a song. Or listen to a song, yes. And uh, now you're going to put in these codes in any order. I will show the codes, don't you worry. All right. 872-101-386 and 481, like I said, in any order. You'll know it's time to put in the codes when you come down here. The number, the numbers will be like, uh, like flickering, and you'll hear like the numbers going crazy. That's how you know uh -huh. it's time to do it. And you can notice that uh, my friend here, his afterlife bar is not going down at all. And a good way to make that happen is have somebody constantly revive you, so you have all the time in the world to do this, and you have uh, one more person like uh, kiting the zombie, so you don't have to worry about it. So how, so he's like almost reviving you, and then yeah, he fills stops. the bar like halfway and stops and. Uh, and does it again, so you can see his afterlife bar only went down like a quarter, if yeah, that. Yeah. Now, I forgot to toggle the controls on uh, replay here, professional. Uh, Good job. Professional mode, Ray. After you do the numbers, there's going to be these headphones that you uh, <laughs> have to, uh, there's like five of them, and you pick them up. I'm going to show you the, the route you Jesus need to take. Jesus Christ. And when you pick them up, it goes into black and white, and then uh, Ferguson, like the security guard in the opening cutscene, will be talking about this whole master plan that was... Uh, in the works of these four characters and what happened and what went wrong and all that. So it's all spoons and headphones. Spoons, headphones, skulls, yup. Yeah. It's prison numbers, codes. Makes absolute all sense. That, it all makes sense. I will say, though, I did enjoy playing this. This is actually, I think, one of the easier Easter eggs. Might be the easiest. Really? Yeah, as you can see, it only took us about uh, 73 minutes, and that's a lot of, like, bullshit in between. Yeah. It probably took us, like, 45 minutes of actual playing and setting up and all that. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's only green uh, auras. There's there's actually headphones that's from uh from theater mode so I will okay. say I don't like theater mode in this game like compared to Halo it's not even close yeah but for stuff like this where you know not everyone can capture and you want to see everyone's perspective it is uh very useful yeah so making our way up behind the uh, electric cherry do 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 go to left inside the infirmary there's one over there oh so five, last one five of those yep there, there's one more it's right by uh, when you make your way to the roof and uh, the the story pretty much explains how a uh, weasel made the plane or had the the plans for the plane and how everybody like betrayed him and killed him on the roof 
Is and, uh, uh is Weasel Joey Pants? Uh it's yeah, the yeah. English guy. Is he English in the yes. game? Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, the last thing you need to do after that is you want to go into Afterlife. After you pick up all the headphones and you'll know you did it correctly it's because your Afterlife bar will not go down. You're supposed to go in Afterlife. And now you have to board the plane, so make sure you have uh, you know, all the fuels in there and everything. Yeah. And when you do that, all your co-op partners will instantly go down and get on the plane with you. So actually only one person needs to, I guess, officially board the plane. Mm -hmm. And then you ride to the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. This is the, the fourth time we're going over there. <laughs> And when you land here, you'll see uh, all your characters on the electric chairs already. So you'll make your way over there. I'm staring at the fireworks like an asshole. Make your way over here to where the electric chairs are. You have to revive yourself. And then you'll notice uh, on the score here, instead of having three players, there's only two. Huh. And whoever's playing Weasel will soon have a kill sign over his head. And this is where uh, you can either uh, kill him or he kills you. Everybody gets the achievement either way. Yeah. And so I'm just waiting here, waiting, waiting, waiting. And there you go. Now it says kill. And it's just an all-out brawl on the bridge. He has a ray gun, but the blunder gat proves to be too strong. You kill him, the cycle continues, and the achievement unlocks. Jesus Christ. So whether you kill him, or like I said, that's the the cycle continues, or if he manages to kill everybody else, the cycle, it says like the, the cycle is broken, but everybody gets the achievement. And there you go, 25 gamer score for that, where you get 75 gamer score for building the fucking plane. So there you go, the Easter egg is finally done. Quick and easy.